A fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high old silver. The Lone Ranger. Faithful Indian companion Tonto, the daring and resourceful masked rider of the plains, led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. Nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come, Silver. Let's go, let go. I'm Silver. Oh! Between the Black Hawk Valley and the Mexican border lay a rugged section of country where countless canyons wound through rugged hills. The ground was lava-covered, left from a dim age when volcanoes were active in the region. It was bad country, utterly worthless for growing crops or raising cattle. The ground was hard and arid. It was too hard to show the marks of horses' hoofs, too hard to register the passing of a herd of cattle driven toward the border by thieves. For what? We gotta keep up with this outfit. Rain up, I tell you. Rain up for just a minute. I gotta talk to you. Oh, oh, oh there. Hello, oh, oh, boy. Hold on. I'll make it fast, Rusty. Oh. I don't want the stock to get too far ahead. Hey, you can overtake the point. Now listen to me, Jake. Hit those cars the same canyon we used last time. We'll be safe there. Why not keep them going right across the border? Yeah, we gotta make a tally before we make delivery. All right, Rusty. Whatever you say, you're the one representing the boss. The ranches are getting downright riled. So we gotta be extra careful in the future. Pass that on. Yeah, I'll tell the boys. Tell everyone, including Bart. Why can't you tell him? Aren't you figuring to cross the border with us? Yeah, yeah, sure thing. Bart might not be around when we get to meeting place, and I can't stay around for the rest of the night and wait for him. We got to get back to Crescent Hour. Oh. Remember, Jake, I got a job as a cowhand. I got to be around at sunup. Yeah, sure thing, Rusty. I know. There's one thing more. My boss is downright hot under the collar because of these raids on cattle. Yeah, I should think he would be. <laughs> He'll be hotter when he finds out he's lost a few hundred more. Think he'd be riding his way to look for us? He might be. He couldn't help hearing us when we started out from his place. No, I reckon that's right. Chances are he'll have a few other ranches with him. They were meeting at his house tonight. Well, they can't trail us this far. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're lucky to have ground that won't show tracks. Yeah, now we better get on and catch up the others. Yeah. Remember what I said. Tell Barton not to look for many deliveries during the next few weeks. We may have to lie low until things quiet down. Right. Come on now. Get up! Get up! The moonlight.
life made it easy to follow the tracks of the stolen cattle as long as the route led over grassy plains, but the grass ran out. For a short distance, the ranchers rode over the hard ground. Then Clay Ramsey and the sheriff realized the hopelessness of their task and signaled a halt. It's no use, Ramsey. Poor cats could have taken any one of half a hundred turns in these canyons, and there's no way of telling which one. Confound it, Sheriff. They do the same thing every time. This is the third time I've been robbed. We've all been robbed. They've hit twice in my place. They've hit all of us. We gonna let them keep this up forever? No, Ramsey. Stealing my cattle right while we're holding a meeting in my house. And you there, too, Sheriff. Fine thing. No, Ramsey. I don't know what more we can do. Not a man alive that can follow tracks over this ground. Well, we might spread out and explore all the canyons. Yeah, before we got well started, the cattle would be over the border. I had close to 400 head in that herd. All set and ready for market. I reckon you've been the heaviest loser, Ramsey. But I've been hit hard, too. Lost more than a 1,000 head in the past year. I've lost better than 2,000. Gilroy's just about cleaned out. And yesterday, Hank Shelby came to me wanting to sell me his brand. He aims to move out of the valley and start all over again somewhere else. Doggone, that's bad. Sanger sold out a month ago. Yeah. It's getting worse all the time. Maybe it's time we had a different lawman. No, Ramsey. I pay my taxes. I've got a right to some sort of protection. I'd like to know what anyone can do that I'm not doing. It's not up to me to tell a lawman how to handle things. My business is cattle. Looks to me like someone lets those rustlers know when to strike. Yeah, Sheriff, it does. Doesn't it? Ramsey... I don't like the tone in your voice. You don't have to like it. Now, Clay, Sheriff, don't get to fighting each other. Well, if anyone thinks I'm working with the rustlers... No one I... said that, Sheriff. I'm satisfied that you're doing all you can. All that anyone could do. Well, thanks for that, Matt. I feel the same way, Sheriff. It's just that we live so close to this doggone hard-packed ground. That's where the trouble lies. I uh, reckon the best thing is to follow Sanger's example and sell out. Matt... Are you willing to sell out because of a pack of sneaking thieves? Well, Ramsey, I don't know there's much of a choice. It'd be better to sell out now while I still got a few head of stock. Well, I won't sell out. By thunder, no ornery sneaking pack of polecats is going to drive me off my land. I'll fight into the last ditch. It takes cash to stick, and I don't have it. Well, I'll stick. I'll fight till I get those crooks or go broke trying. Oh, no, Ramsey, don't talk foolish. Talk foolish? Don't tell me I'm talking foolish. I mean every word to say. I'll back my words, by thunder. Any man that wants to quit can sell out and clear out. What's more, I'll buy the outfit of any quitter that says he's licked. Big talk. Hey, who said that? I did. And I agree with him. You're just making big talk. That's what you're doing, Ramsey. Big talk, huh? Well, you heard what I said. No, boy. It's all I... right, Sheriff. You don't get to fighting. If Ramsey wants to buy me out. I'm downright glad to sell. Me too. You two have made a deal. Come to my place in the morning. Bring your deed and a tally of your stock. If you rannies want to call me, you've got to call yourselves quitters at the same time. All right, Ramsey, I'm a quitter. I'll be at your house in the morning with my deed and the tally of my stock. Later that same night, the Lone Ranger and Tonto were camped beneath a shelf in one of the many canyons near the border. Silver, the big white stallion, showed signs of restlessness. What's the matter, Silver? Him hear something. Come this way. Just a minute, Toto. Let me get near to the ground. Put hand flat on ground. You feel rumble? Yes. I hear it, too. Cattle coming this way. A big lot of cattle. Steady, Silver. Steady there, boy. It's all right. A plenty strange time for cattle drive. In strange country. There's no pasture south of here. of close-packed cattle came nearer, then passed within a few yards of a cave-like place where the masked man and his faithful Indian friend were camped. When the cattle had passed, the Lone Ranger turned to Tonto. Tonto, did you see the way that stock was being driven? Yeah, plenty hard, plenty fast. Yes, too hard and fast. Cattle move like that, it lose plenty weight. Come on, Tonto, saddle up. Uh, <coughs> We follow, follow cattle? Yes, stay there, Silver. You've got to travel again. Otto, I think it'll be worthwhile following. I want to know the answers to a number of questions. Uh, uh, steady, Scout, steady, fella. Maybe you're ready in a minute here. Yeah. Why is the stock moving so fast? Why is it moving at night? Why is it traveling to the border? Uh, there are only one answer to all questions. One answer to all the questions can be expressed in just two words. Stolen cattle. Uh, uh, be ready now. Good, steady, big fella. 
One silver. Get on this count. The Lone Ranger and Tonto followed the cattle across the border to a large ranch. They went as close as they dared, taking refuge in a grove of trees to watch while the livestock was driven into a corral. This ranch seems to be the destination, Tonto. That's right. I'd like to get close enough to see the brands. Maybe men will go away soon, and we get closer. I'd also like to find out who owns this ranch. A house over that way. Lighting house, too. Yes. Two o'clock in the morning. Strange time for a rancher to take delivery of cattle. Wait. Huh? Uh, two two fellas come this way on foot. Yes, I see them. They're going toward the ranch house. Then better we keep back in trees. Fellas come with plenty. Oh, yes. Watch. Keep your horse quiet, Tonto. Steady, Scout. Steady, fella. Steady. Lights now, Rusty. Looks like Barton's there. Yeah. It's good. Yeah. Don't pardon yourself instead of having me relay the word of things you get yourself. I'll tell him. But I can't stay long. I've got to get back to Chris and Ranch by sunup, or some of the boys will wonder where I've been. You'll get back by sunup. Tonto. The Crescent Ranch is Clay Ramsey's outfit. Not right. That man must work there. You know, Stubby, I want to get close enough to the house to see what that man called Barton looks like. Ah. Uh, we go there now? You stay here with the horses. I'll be back as soon as possible. Don't let the horses make any sound. So it'll be better to lie low for a few weeks until things quiet down. You savvy the good judgment of that, don't you, Barton? So all right with me, Rusty. How many critters the boys bring across this trip? Around 400. Is that right, Jake? That's right, boss. 400 in round figures. How soon will you dispose of them? The boys will start moving them in a couple of days. My boss wants to know when he should see the buyer to collect for the stock. About a week. Uh, I'll tell him. Now I gotta go. Just a minute, Rusty. Yeah? Speaking of the buyer, how about some cash? Did you bring any money from your boss to me? Well, uh... No, Barton, not this trip. I've been waiting for some time, Rusty. Your boss knows that. I know, but I... It's about time some important cash change hands. I don't see why he can't let me collect from the buyer and send his share of the cash to him. Well, maybe you can tell the boss how to do things. I can't. I always have to wait for my share. I don't like it. None of us like it, Barton. You heard what Jake said. He feels the same as all the men. They got a right to their cash and they want it. I don't argue that point. You tell that... Just tell the boss he'd better send me the cash for the last four deals. I look for that cash on Thursday of this week. Well, Just I... tell him that, Rusty. You can tell him if I don't get it, I'll go with my boys the next time they cross the border. It'll be a trip to collect cash instead of cattle. You savvy? All right, Barton. I'll tell the boss what you said. Now I've got to start back. Mounting up. Yeah, let me see him. Yeah. Well, there he goes. Now, what you learn in your house? That a man named Barton owns this ranch. All the men we followed, except Rusty, work for him. All stay this side border? Yes. Except when they cross to steal cattle. Rusty lets them know where to go and when to strike. Ah. Rusty, boss again? No. Rusty takes orders from someone else. I don't know who it is, but he's a man who collects for the cattle after Barton makes the delivery. And it's hard to get gang this side border. Yes, I know. And only two of the crooks are north of the border, Rusty and the boss. Oh. Otto, we're going to camp near here for the next few days. Oh, why we do that? Because I think we might be able to send Barton and all of his men into the hands of the law in Texas. Oh, what about Punter called Boss? I think I have a plan that will also catch him. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
Now to continue our story. The morning after the theft of the Crescent R cattle found several men assembled at Clay Ramsey's ranch house. Ramsey's face was dark with anger as he looked at first one, then another of the visitors. Quitters, by thunder. That's what you are. You're quitters and you admit it. I admitted as much last night, Ramsey. I'm surprised at you, Matt. I thought you'd stay and fight them rustlers. I've got a wife and kids to think of. I can't hang on here no longer. And you... Just say what you got to say, Ramsey. You said you'd buy us out. We wanted to quit. Well, we do, and we're here to sell. Oh, Clay, speaking as a friend and neighbor, if you were smart, you'd clear out of this country along with us. We're going north where the border's not so handy. I'm staying here. I'll fight for what I've got, and the sheriff will help me. What are you doing here, Sheriff? Well, Matt asked me to come as a witness to the deal. You better say deals. Matt ain't the only one that's ready to sell. Maybe Ramsey's got cold feet since he talked so big last night. How about it, Ramsey? I said I'd buy you out, didn't I? Yeah. And I meant it. Let's get down to business. How many head have you got? Well, according to the last tally, got about a thousand head left. Uh, and you? Fifteen hundred. Matt, how about you? I'm down to two thousand. After having 2500 a year ago. Mm-hmm. Ramsey, here comes Clint Shelby. Uh, open the door, let him in. Clint wants to sell out, too. Come on in here, Shelby. Howdy, gents. Howdy, Howdy man. Are you here to sell out along with the rest of the yellow-backed quitters who've lost their nerve? I'm here to sell out, Ramsey. You're buying? Won't be no one left around here except you, Ramsey. Oh, uh, makes me sick to see all of you. Ready to holler quits. We're not here to discuss your health, Ramsey. What price are you aiming to pay for our cattle? I'll pay a flat price for the lot. Ten dollars a head. Well, well, ten, ten, that's ten, mighty low. Robbery. Ten bucks. Five times what cattle brought after the war. Take it or leave it. Or maybe you'd sooner try to move all your cattle to your new diggings, wherever they'll be. Well, what about the land we got and buildings? I know what every one of you put into his place. I'm offering 30% of the price. 30%? Well, well, not that's... being any too generous, are you, Ramsey? They can take it or leave it. Me, I'll take it. I've got no choice. I can't stay here and lose all that I've got left. Well, Ramsey's a skin thing. But I'll sell. You got your deeds and titles and things with you? I have. Yeah. I got mine right here. Leave them on that table as you go out. I'll have my lawyer check up on the titles to be sure I'm getting what I pay for. Meanwhile, I'll have my men check your tally sheets. How long will that take? About a week. The sheriff is witness to the deal. Is that right, Sheriff? Well, I reckon so. I sure hate to see all these boys clear out. <laughs> Maybe they'll be replaced by men that are willing to fight for what they got. Oh, Ramsey. Go on, clear out. I don't want to waste my time looking at quitters. During the next few days, the titles were checked by Ramsey's lawyer. Cowhands checked on the herds that Ramsey was to buy and the Lone Ranger and Tonto remained in camp near the border. They took turns watching at the trail. It was after dark on Wednesday night when the masked man broke off in the middle of a sentence. I think we understand now. Can't be long because... Tonto. What matter? Just a minute. Now listen carefully. You hear that? Ah. Horse come this way. Just one horse. That's right. That might be rusty. Him head for border. Maybe fetch cash for Barton. I'm going to look out beyond the trees. If that's the man we want, we'll have to be ready for him. You see him? Yes. I'm quite sure it's a cow hand. Just a minute. It is. He's stopping plenty quick, huh? Stay back just off the trail. We'll show ourselves when he comes close. Uh, yeah. Get ready, Tonto, and don't take chances. He looks like the type who'll shoot faster. He has a chance. Be ready. Nearly here. Now, how far is Right up there. Grab the range, Tonto. Hey, what? Hold it. Don't go for a gun. Oh, why you... I meant that, Rusty. Let go of my horse. Get away from me. We want you. Come down from that saddle. Take your hands off me, my juniper. Save it. <laughs> Sorry, I had to pull you from the saddle. Why, you warrior. Mast. That's right, Rusty. Mast. Oh, what do you want? Money. I got no money. You got the wrong man. Hand it over. But I tell you, I ain't... All got... right, then. Take it away from him, Tonto. Come here. I'll listen, mister. Wait a minute. If you're an outlaw... Find it, Tonto. Here. Here, money. Good. Don't touch that case. That's not mine. We know who owns it, Rusty. Uh, You know me? Yes. Also Barton. Uh, If he sent you to waylay... He didn't. Get him roped, Tonto. He'll have to stay here with you for a while. No, No, listen. You've got the case. That's all you're after. Let me go. You'll gain nothing by holding me a prisoner. Rope him. Uh, 
money. Now, please don't hold me. You don't know what it'll mean if I'm held. He'll think I run off with the cash. Rusty, it won't matter what anyone thinks. <laughs> oh, this rope's too tight. <laughs> Be sure he stays with you, Donald. Oh, him stay. Oh. Rope make plenty sure. Him stay. Steady, Silver. Easy. I'll be back as soon as possible. Come on, Silver. Barton and Jake were in the ranch house. Several times in the course of the evening, Barton glanced at the clock. Finally, Jake said, Think Rusty will show up sometime tonight, Barton? He can't get away from that ranch on the day. If he don't come tonight, it'll be too late. You heard what I told him? Yeah, he said that the boss would have to send cash. Yeah, in a minute. I don't like the way things have been going lately. We do most of the work, the boss gets all the money. The least he could do is to send our share. Yeah, maybe that's rusty. I'll open it. Well, it's about to... Mask. What the... Close the door. I'll see here. Steady. Don't start trouble. I uh, came here in place of Rusty. Yeah? Yeah. You've seen him for the last time. How's that? As for stolen cattle, there'll be no more of it coming over the border. Barton, what's he getting at? I don't know, but I'm going to find out. You're expecting money, aren't you? Well, here it is. There's $500 there in that bundle. 500 Now, oh, hold on. That's a tenth of what we've... That's we... all you're going to get. Oh, is it so? Yes. You're through, Barton. It's a double cross. No one would get away with this. I'll find out what's back of it. You better not. You're lucky to get that much. Now, if you want some advice... I don't. Well, I'll give it to you anyway. Take that cash and don't go looking for trouble. You might find it. I'll find it all right. And it'll be trouble for the critter that thinks Scar Barton is a man that can be double-crossed. I'll start with you. Hold it. Hey, what the... You two. Get over there. Yeah, but how... Do... Get over there beside your pal. Hurry. That's it. Now then, if you value your health, stay south of the border. You won't get away with this. I'll get square. You had good advice, Barton. Jake, get that door open. Right. Monsieur. There he goes. Stand aside. Let me get a shot. Ah, you missed. He got away. Ah, let him go. I want the boss. Call the boys together. Get all of them. I'm doing just what I said I'd do. I'm going over the border to make a collection. It was the following morning in Clay Ramsey's home. The tallies had been completed and the deeds and titles to various ranches found to be in order. The sheriff was on hand as before to serve as witness to several negotiations. Matt, Flint, and several other ranchers sat with Ramsey in the large room. Yeah, needn't lecture us for being quitters. Let's pay out the cash and we'll sign the papers. Yeah, that's just what I aim to do. Sure too bad that you gents are all going to leave. Be mind lonesome around here. The sooner I get away, the better I'll like it. I've got the cash money right here in the tin box. Open it up and start counting. Oh, you needn't worry, Sheriff. There ain't none of these yellow quitters with spunk enough to try to rob me. The price you're paying this is you that's doing the robbing. If you don't want to sell out, just say so. Get the cash counted. Right. You first. Hey, 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 Oh, you dirty double crime. Wait, wait, Barton. I sent the cash. You lied. I did. I sent it by Rusty last night. Don't tell me that. I know different. Uh, I'm helping myself. Oh, hold on. You want to get away with this? I'll get away with it. Because I won't leave no witnesses. Too bad for all you critters that happen to be here, but I can't take chances. Drop the gun. Oh, but you drop it. That's a cover from here, too. Flash, man. Hey, that window. And the door, too. Roman all around us. My deputies. Hurry, right, Barton. Give the word to your men or we open fire. All right. Drop the guns, boys. No use committing suicide. You. You with that mask. Where'd you come from? How'd you line up my own deputies? They were willing to help when they heard what the plan was, Sheriff. The, the plan? Yes. Well, you got here just in time, Barton. Ramsey is just about to buy up all the land and cattle in this part of the country. Why, you double-crossing skunk. So that's why you figured to freeze me out, eh? That's why you wouldn't pay me and my men. Wait, wait, Barton. Don't say anything. Nothing Barton can say will hurt you, Ramsey. He and his gang have come north of the border. But they can be captured and tried for rustling. So I can't hurt him, eh? 
Well, Ramsey, you'll see. Sheriff, that poor cat was in the rustling with the rest of us. He and Rusty handled this end. Stop talking, you blame fool. Shut up. I won't shut up. I'll put you where you belong. Sheriff, look up Pete Hawthorne at the Box Bar Ranch. He's the one that bought the kettle. He's been burning for the past year and paying Ramsey for it. He shipped it east. Well, so you're the crook. Oh, wait, That's I can... why you was able to buy us out. Yeah, uh, play on both ends. Collecting for the stolen cattle and breaking us so we sell out to you for almost nothing. Well, that'll hold yeah. you, Ramsey. Pick the double crosses, eh? Barton, you practically double-crossed yourself. The uh, sheriff didn't have much on you until you talked in front of these witnesses. I tried to tell you, you fool. Give me back that deed and title. I'm taking up ranching again, right here. Yeah, me too. You boys, give me a hand herding these crooks to jail. Then you can take up what you're doggone, please. By the way, Sheriff, you'll find Rusty already in jail. I used him to convince your deputies that they'd better come here. But you, where do you fit into the picture? Oh, perhaps your deputies can also answer that. And uh, one thing more, Barton. Yeah. Ramsey did send Rusty with the cash. It's in the sheriff's office. Why? You'll have to do some accounting, Sheriff. But I think you'll do it wisely. Oh, we owe that mash man a plenty. Hey, you, come back here. I'll be back someday to see how your ranch is looking. But wait. Well, I'll be... Now, why did that mash man bring things to a head for all of us? Well, I don't know. But it's a lot like some of the things I've heard about the Lone Ranger. Now, step along, Ramsey. You and the rest of the crooks are to sleep in jail. The story you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of The Lone Ranger Incorporated. 